In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the HTML refresh command to refresh pages and redirect users to other pages, and we're going to get started right now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you get better at coding so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, or for your business. If it's your first time here, make sure you click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's get into the screen capture of this tutorial. I'll see you there. So on the left-hand side here, we have an HTML page. On the right-hand side, we see how that page renders in a browser. And inside the head tags, we're going to add the meta refresh. And how we do that is we open a pointy bracket, open a tag, type in meta, and we close that tag, the self-closing tag, and we type in the parameter HTTP equiv equals open and close quotes and the word refresh. We have to add another parameter called content equals open and close quotes. And the number we put in here is the number of seconds that the browser will wait before it refreshes. So if we put in the number three here, save this page, refresh this page, we will see this page refreshing every three seconds. And we can see that up here when this curly refresh button on its own just goes to an X and back to the refresh, which shows you it's refreshing on its own. And now what you can do, or, or sorry, that, that's the refresh function itself. If you wanna make this a redirect, all you have to do is inside the content parameter, we type in semicolon space URL equals, and we type in a URL. So this will redirect after three seconds to google.com. And you can make this second interval any number you want. You can make it zero, so it's an instant redirect. Or you can make it three seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds, a thousand seconds, whatever you want. So let's save this page and see how it works. Refresh over here. Wait three seconds, and now we're going to google.com. And that's how you do a meta refresh inside of HTML. It's fairly useful. I never use it very much. I, if I'm doing a redirect, I prefer to use HT access redirects over um, meta redirects, but that's just me. And if you want to try out the HT access redirects, I have a link below this video to one of my other videos that shows you how to create them. And they're created on the server side, so they're much faster than HTML refreshes. And that's how easy it is to use the HTML refresh tag. Like I said, it's better to use HT access because those refreshes and redirects are instantaneous. But if you don't have access to HT access, use the HTML refresh. It works pretty well if that's all you have. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, click on the subscribe button, then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome content, and then click on that card that just appeared in the top right of this video for some awesome resources. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.